I wanted to take a, a few minutes of your time to talk about the DSCP preservation feature, the Cisco ASA firewall. Uh, DSCP preservation is basically defined as the, uh, the fact that the Cisco firewall doesn't change the uh, TOS byte or the DSCP bits as uh, packets flow through the firewall. And um, an interesting thing is what happens when we're actually taking clear text packets and encapsulating those into new packets. For example, when we're building a VPN tunnel. In this example, we'll take a look in, at clear text traffic that we're sending from 192.168.1.5 that uh, is encrypted and encapsulated into a VPN tunnel as it passes through the firewall toward the router um, to its final destination of 10.2.2.2. Um, what I want to do is figure out if the TOS byte or the DSCP values is copied from the clear text packet to the outer packet that's found um, carrying the VPN, uh, the VPN traffic from the firewall to the router over on the right. I already have a Wireshark uh, connected to the VPN area of the network, so we'll go ahead and start a copy of Wireshark and filter that down to ESP. So we'll just see the VPN traffic. Then we can go ahead and bounce over to a terminal window that's connected to my inside router. I'll go ahead and ping 10.2.2.2. That should generate a little bit of uh, back and forth VPN traffic. We'll go ahead and ping 10.2.2.2 again, but this time we'll actually ping it using an extended ping command. So we put the IP address in, uh, and then when it, we're asked if we want to extend, we say yes. And we're going to use 184 for a type of service value. That's actually going to produce something that looks like EF if you're thinking about this in uh, terms of per hop behavior. And Wireshark will go ahead and uh, stop the capture, open up an IP header, and we'll uh, select the DSCP uh, value. We can select analyze and apply as a column so we can easily see a column that creates, uh, that's created showing us the DSCP uh, or TOS value of each of the uh, IP packets. And we can see that the first few packets were zero. The remaining packets actually have a, a DSCP value of 184. So we can see that, uh, in fact, uh, the TOS value is copied into the header of the outer uh, IP header for the VPN tunnel traffic. 